New moon, we've got insane energies going on this October. A lot of things happening. We can see it in the collective. We can see it um, with things going on around. And the invitation is always to look inward, to come within. How connected are you to your feminine? I'm going to address that in a moment. But first, just taking a deep breath and reconnecting with the body, coming into the body, because a lot of us and breathe. A lot of us are trying to, when we are in this, um, in these situations, right? Think of your life day to day and something happens and you're in this, okay, fight or flight and or freeze. And we get to breathe deeply. It's not possible to be overthinking and breathing deeply at the same time. So an invitation to come into the body because most of us at a early age, we disconnect from the body. Too many emotions. Doesn't feel safe. I don't want to experience this. So we disconnect it. And the cure, the cure for the pain, I actually have it on my Facebook. Um, the cure for the pain is in the pain. So it's actually when we're willing to lean in, when we're willing to hold that, loving it unconditionally, allowing it to be there, not afraid anymore that it actually transmutes and transforms and just moves on, okay? So coming back in the body every time, coming into right now, being here, choosing to be here, okay? So as we're inhaling in, into the belly, chest, nose, opening up the shoulders, expanding your chest, allowing yourself to be here, allowing yourself to feel good. And... Mm, yesterday's topic you know about well how can I feel good when there's so many things going on um check out that video if you have not yet done so and uh, the podcast episode is out as well that goes a little bit deeper into this so let's talk new moon what does that mean for you specifically now this one is different as I sat with those collective energies and by the way this is something that I will be uh because I feel like there are just a lot of videos on here I will be uh putting that in my newsletter so if you're not on my newsletter Go ahead and subscribe to that. There's going to be the link below in the free resources. When you um, sign up, you also get three three <laughs> free gifts as you do that. And every new moon, there's going to be an energetic update and how can you utilize those energies. That's something that I will be now sending privately to uh, people on my mailing list. So if you want that, go ahead and sign up. So as I was sitting with the collective energies, what came up with this new moon is a little bit different, right? The new moon is typically right it's just you 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 feel what what do you feel like uh during the new moon during the full moon so typically new moon is a great time to set intentions what do i want to create in the world it's more of the masculine energy the purpose direction drive and um the full moon we often feel like okay overwhelmed it's about um just releasing what doesn't serve um Maybe for some people, it's the opposite. It's creating the full moon. It's like, oh, I'm full. I'm ready to create. I'm ready to give to the world. So just noticing, you know, there's no right or wrong. What is that for you? How do you feel? And actually, I would love to hear your feedback below. How do you feel around new moon? How do you feel about the, the full moon? And uh, what does that mean for you? Have you noticed a shift? I know for me, when back when I thought this was way too woo-woo and I wasn't following any of this, um, I would have very severe depressive episodes and like six months after after my spiritual shift um i noticed that actually those shifts would happen around the full moon like i would be a werewolf around the full moon and that was so interesting to me because it's not something i believed in or followed but after realizing that i was like whoa okay it it does affect us um so just being mindful of how do you feel around a particular time uh, during our lunar cycle. So as I sat with these energies this month, this one is a little bit different because we are called to set intentions. What do I want? What is my purpose? What is my drive? What are my goals, targets for this upcoming lunar month? But with this one, getting so clear on is it your soul vision or is it an inherited vision? Do we want what we want because we've been told that that's what we're supposed to want? Because our family has been going for that for years. Um, People around us, society. So this new moon, interestingly enough, what I was called to share here is that we're actually invited to drop 
some of the things, those, especially if they were long-term targets, ooh, the way I received it was, if you're having trouble manifesting something, right? Say, but I've been putting this target over and over again on my list. I've been going towards it and still not working. Maybe it's not yours. And I don't want to go into it, it's not meant to, because there's no such thing, right? Meant is like, well, do you want it? Then it's meant to. But there's a resistance within us when we're trying to achieve something that actually isn't in alignment with us. It's not our soul's calling. And it's so difficult, especially when we keep, you know, banging our head against the wall. It's like, why isn't this working? I need this to work. Do you really need it to work or does someone else does? Does your programming tell you that you need it to work? Or is it actually true to your soul? Why do you want what you want? And it's that disconnection, you know, within us when we don't remember our own voice, when we don't take the time to isolate, come back to ourselves, check in with ourselves, wait a second, who am I? Like if you remove all my friends, all my family, if you remove the whole world, who am I? What have I come here to create? What is, what is my soul calling me to, right? You remove all technology from your life and remember who you are. And from that place that those new moon intentions, those targets, those goals. So this is the invitation with these new moon energies. We got a solar eclipse coming up. Um, the Halloween weekend was, will also be a really a big, big shifts, a lot of big shifts. So emotions, emotions coming up, noticing what is coming up. So um, I recently uh, had a client session and I say, well, you know, just buckle up because this is going to come up at some point. Just kind of put a pin on it, but know that this trigger will come up. And they go, oh, don't tell me that. I'm like, what do you mean? Don't you want it to come up? Don't you want it to be released? Don't you want to experience that freedom from it, from something that's been there and with you for years? Don't you want to be free? It's like, oh, well, yeah, I do. It's like, there you go. Then you have nothing to be afraid of. But we go into, let's just tiptoe to our grave and like nobody touch anything and nobody poke any bears you didn't come here for that though you came to poke the bear You're, the bear's the ego you came to trigger it you came to get uncomfortable in the most loving way not like you know let's push through this i hate this but let's do this like no no, no. in a loving how can i be more whole how can i expand more you came here for that and so pretending that the problem isn't there like not talking about it walking on eggshells that's not serving us. And so many of us, this is why I'm addressing this with those new moon energies. So many of us is just like, I feel this pull. No, 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 let's not talk about it. Let's let's just let's just continue on this path one foot at a time that I know I know I'm supposed to walk. Let's not get uncomfortable. Let's not rock any boats and poke any bears. Let's just let's be okay. And it's devastating. It's devastating because the being out of alignment with our soul like that, it it creates physical I mean physical illnesses it creates so many side effects I was thinking um, when my father suddenly passed away and he was a man who lived his life fully very much but he passed away very suddenly at a young age and um, when I first started working with people my why was you know I don't want people to run out of time um, in the book, Five Regrets of the Dying, you know, there was this Australian nurse who was there with people on their deathbeds. And the number one regret that she would hear over and over again is, I wish a life, I wish I lived a life that I wanted to live and not one that other people expected of me, that I just wasted my time being what other people wanted me to be. And I never tuned in to me and to my soul. And that was bringing tears to my eyes and I was thinking, oh gosh, I wish, I hope my dad did that. And I know he, he kind of did, but he was still holding back about some things. And um, my why working with people was that I want people to live fully, to never have that regret on their deathbed. And it's still kind of bringing tears to my eyes, just living a life and then realizing like, shit, I ran out of time. It's like later, later, later. I'll do it later. Oh, there is no later. I just ran out of time. And we don't know when that will be. But actually, the worst thing is knowing, right? Because sometimes it's just ignorance. We just, we, we're in that hamster wheel. It's like, oh, shit, I ran out of time. But so many of us at this point, we're living in a time where those energies are here. It's more difficult 
to ignore those callings, to ignore your heart, to ignore your soul. And we're being pulled in that. And it's so much resistance. It takes so much resistance. It takes so much work to be like, oh, yeah, I'm pulled. No, 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 no. Like, that's not just the hamster wheel and the ignorance. That's where really actively a part of us is holding us from shining, holding us from expressing that soul's calling, living our purpose, contributing. Like, the world needs this more than ever right now. And it's... It's aligned and it's created in such a way that is becoming more and more difficult. You will have those shifts in your life where just everything is falling apart if you don't listen. You will have that health diagnosis if you don't listen. And it's becoming more and more difficult to ignore that. And yet some people still do. So leading into that, and this is the invitation of this new moon. Where is it that you're following someone else's agenda? Where is it that just checking in how aligned am I with me with my truth how can I live that so this weekend this um, eclipse time fantastic opportunity tuning into that am I living that am I embodying that and if you knew that you couldn't fail like there was no wrong way and um, it was guaranteed your success was guaranteed what would you do? How can you take one step towards that now, today, this weekend? And if you're open to it, sharing below, because I would love to hear that. And honestly, when you share these things, it just, it gives the collective, like when you write it, when you voice it, it gives permission to more people to do the same. So please share that. And on this note, I thank you for being here. I thank you for doing this work. I thank you for not settling for that shallowness, but going deeper, not walking on eggshells, not tiptoeing to your death, but actually, how can I expand? How can I allow? How can I live fully? How can I support more people around me to do the same? So I thank you for that. And I'm wishing you a powerful day. Mm -hmm.